Yo, what is good, my anime people? Let's talk about these amazing episodes. Um, secretly, I was expecting this part two to be a huge moment for our character. But to be fair, it really turned into a huge moment for every single new character and old to kind of show us where they've gone throughout all this process of grinding extremely hard to get where they are. Um, that being said, the animation this week had some reused assets where at the very end when they started getting absolutely hype and the sword we see revealed is the friend of our main character, we are instantly sent into regret because of every attack on that sword is supposedly going to damage her. But because she is practically like the obsidian goddess, she drains everybody of their strength and they're not even capable of fighting that well or fighting that fast. We see that the leader is okay. I guess most of the damage that we did see from the blood was from his chest and losing an arm. Which is pretty messed up. Um, if you notice, an arm to a samurai is practically their life. But instead of making it that way, they're showing us that these one-armed men can still fight hard. It's just not good enough. It's too much battle damage that they've taken so far to be trying to fight with someone who's gotten a huge power up on top of already being ridiculously powerful not to mention a sword that can drain the energy so to be like oh yeah these guys lost because they drained the energy off their no the two guys that got the god, war god mantle didn't get their power drained they got absolutely outclassed easily and it's scary to think that without connecting with this girl we would be fight. It would be a much different fight. Um, they're kind of playing both roles instead of us picking to kill her because she's the sword and it has to be done. Um, hold on, I need to see something. Okay, it's more like they're gonna save her somehow, some way. She might transform back to her normal form after being detached to him. But maybe this will be like a special thing she can do is become a sword. A little bit of soul eater in there. I'm not entirely sure, but I can tell you one thing. I am excited to finally see him unlocking the true path to the obsidian goddess. Like the guy said, he's pretty much an empty vessel or just like a, uh, you know, a vessel that's not really all that useful in the grand scheme of what's going on seeing how he's not using the power but because of the blood and because of this situation of him uh you know resonating with the other goddess that is now created the imitated goddess it's easier for him to understand how much power he truly needs and that's what we're going to see here very soon a all powered up, ridiculously strong main character who hopefully doesn't have to break the sword to save her and he ends up changing her form by getting a hold of her or something along those lines. So whatever the case is, I hope she comes back and becomes a character with us. I think it would be a waste to kill her off. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you did enjoy. If I gave you some information that you weren't thinking about, write it down in the comments if comments if you'd want to talk about anything i didn't go over i am your boy the anime g thank you so much for the support peace